So today I'm going to be showing you guys all of Cyberpunk's romance scenes. No, I'm just kidding. So last month, so I could record games like this on decent settings, I picked up a 3090. I don't know how this whole thing works. It says I'm the highest bidder. 1875. <gasps> Wait, okay. 1900. When would I do it though? Like last second, but somebody else is going to do it, I bet. This is going to cost me money if I F this up. Okay, I'm doing it. I don't know if I got it. Did I get it? Yes, <laughs> let's go. But yeah, so I got a 3090 and I hope the quality of the video will reflect that. So I was playing this game a bit earlier and very hard difficulty is actually very hard and to make it even harder, we're gonna only allow ourselves to do melee. Starting as a nomad, I'm not sure if the life paths actually matter. Roaming the badlands, looting scrapyards, raiding fuel depots, life on the road wasn't easy. But growing up in a nomad clan has its perks, honesty, integrity, and a love of freedom qualities that few in Night City possess and no amount of money can buy. So a while ago, one of my patrons wanted to name Hatsune Miku for a Rimworld character, and the character ended up being fat, so I named her Fatsune Miku. I really like that character, and unfortunately I cannot recreate her here, but maybe there is a way to make our character fat, and that's going to be one of our goals. We have to put seven points into starting attributes, and we can put three of them into each. We're going to put three in a body, which adds HP, stamina points. When you block, you drain stamina points as well as when you attack, so more stamina is good. Increased damage with fists and gorilla arms by three. Increases damage with melee weapons by 1.5%. We can't put any more than six in a body, and like we can't remove points from intelligence or any other skills. Now the question is, do I want to max out reflexes, which increases maneuverability and movement speed, increase passive evasion, crit chance, and the damage from Manus Blades? Or do we want to max out cool, which is basically stealth? I'm thinking if we can only do melee, we're probably going to want to max out stealth, especially on really hard difficulty. I was testing out a bit earlier, and you can die from just getting hit like twice. So yeah, we're going to max out cool, and then we'll put the last point in the reflexes. We're opting to not be very intelligent or have much technical ability. Okay, so in the starting area, we're just gonna grab some random crap that's lying around. We're just gonna jack this guy's loot, because he doesn't care. Holy fuck, we're already dead. That's definitely a death. I'm gonna count that as a death. How are we leaving South California if we're going south? Are we going straight into the ocean? So basically we're doing the tutorial mission. We pick up this dude. We're smuggling some loot. We bribe the custom officer, but... dickhead got nitpicky. And that ain't normal? Not to that extent. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie. Just drive. Someone's coming our way. This does not look good. Stop your vehicle immediately. Let's get out of here. On it. You are transporting contraband that is corporate property. I repeat, stop the car! So we're getting chased by customs people, which is kind of weird. When we went into the customs place, we gave them our weapon. Then we tried to bribe the customs officer and he wasn't really having it, but he did allow us to leave and get our weapon. The only reason why I could think that he would do that is because he doesn't want them to know that we bribed him. Maybe if he said something in the customs office, then we'd be like, oh, we bribed him, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. So they gave us back our gun. They let us get in our car and as we were driving away. These guys started ambushing us and I think we have to actually shoot here. I'm going to try to not shoot. And I can't actually go back inside the car, I don't think. Yeah, the action is blocked. I'm gonna try to just not shoot at these guys. I'm very hard though, you get a shot like twice. Oh, and I'm already kind of low because I fell off the phone tower earlier. It was I was doing a speedrun strat. I didn't want to show you guys though, it was too OP. I feel like the speedrunners are gonna be stealing that one from me if I show you guys. But yeah. Um. I'm at 45 HP right now. It's not looking too good. Although, like, they're dying to just random... I don't know what. I feel like I shouldn't look at them. Like, I feel like there's a higher chance for them to hit me if I'm looking, maybe? Yeah, well, I, I was looking there and I got hit. Down to 20 HP. We might lose this here. There might be some RNG, so maybe we could... potentially not have to shoot at them. Um... Nope, and they, yeah, this is probably it right here. I think we're gonna get hit. Okay, I literally did not shoot, and we win. Okay, cool. I'm gonna leave that last part unedited too, by the way, just so you guys know I didn't shoot. All right, so I'm not sure if this is a troll, but this is what we're smuggling. It's a freaking iguana. <laughs> like, what? 
why an iguana? That's what we're running from the cops from for uh, iguana. So apparently in 2077, there's some kind of animal shortage. And yeah, this is what we're smuggling. All right, so we made it to the city and me and this dude have been having some relations. So right here, this girl will open up her thing. Okay, yeah. Can I just grab her? No. Uh, no, you can't. There's a girl they want us to retrieve. This girl is not the target, thankfully, though. I will say there's some weird freaking crap going on in this place, though. There's some kind of surgical center something. I don't know. It's not her, dude. I already know. Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix-ups. Not our lucky girl. Let's keep looking. All right, so this is our first guy that we got to kill. We're going to grab him, and then we're going to... Oh, we can just kill him and hide the body. I don't know if it matters. So this part's really easy. We just have to sneak behind these dudes and just take them out. The next part is going to be actually pretty hard, though. Uh, let's just kill him. Sure. It seems safer. Did you kill him? Is he still alive? Now this room is actually going to be kind of hard for melee, I think, because there's a bunch of dudes in here. This guy's obviously easy. You can just grab him and just kill him, sure. But now there's two dudes. We actually have flashbang grenades. I don't know if I can use grenades, because the whole thing was we can only do melee. So, I mean, we'll grab the grenades, we can maybe sell them, but I think we're not going to use... Oh, did I just... I shouldn't turn that on. Oh, apparently they can't hear the radio. It's not playing. There's an option in the menu to make it so you can't hear copyright music. Maybe that's a copyright song. What we can do... Oh, crap. Okay, back off. I think maybe this dude can just solo for us. Dude's a tank, though. He's playing on easy mode. It's all good. You got it, bro. I don't know if this dude's actually doing damage. Like... He's been at it for a while. Okay, what the heck is going on there? Is, that, is he doing that? Okay, I got hit again, just randomly. I think we just gotta go, but maybe I should heal up to full first. And then let's just go. Uh. Alright, I don't think our partner's helping much. HP? more. This guy dead. I think he's dead. Oh, very nice. I think he's dead, right? Okay, I think he's out. Okay, here's the leader. And wait, he took him out already. Okay, cool. Um, okay, first, before we find the target, we're just going to dispose of this guy's body, because we don't want anyone to know that we were here. So we're just going to toss him off. Um, okay, let's just drop him. No one's going to know. We just, yeah. All right, rule number one, always dispose of the bodies. When you're doing stealth missions and you're trying to be stealthy. So we saved the target and this is apparently a really high value person robot thing because the people that we just took out were jamming her signal and I don't know what they were going to do with her but when I guess we took out the signal jammer then these guys showed up and they're going to save her basically. She's got some really good insurance coverage I guess. So this scene's actually kind of cool. It's when you first get to see the city. Well you get to see it a little bit earlier actually but this is where you get to like actually drive through the city and it's raining. It's got some really nice aesthetics. Morgan Blackhand, Andrew Whelan. Adam Smasher, legends are born here. Man, I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, you're locking down Watson, remember? Just me or... Oh, fucking knew it. Man on her ass, tailing us. Hello. I don't like this, V. Not one tiny bit. Scum! Okay, so for this mission, I think we actually have to shoot. I'm gonna try to not. I'm gonna try to just... No, I don't want to. I don't want to. It'll make me shoot. I wonder if I can use my... Wait, they're not shooting at us. This is weird. When I was doing the tutorial as a guy, I had to shoot these guys. But maybe as a girl, they won't shoot you? I'm looking away. Maybe that's... I'm not aiming for the... I'm not shooting them. Wait, this is crazy. We're not getting... Okay, I finally got a hit. That guy just died to nothing. Wait, what? 
We didn't have to shoot. Okay, I just need to show you guys. I'm playing on hard difficulty. Can I change the difficulty, by the way? Mid game, by the way. Yeah, you actually can. But yeah, we're playing on very hard. Wait, that's crazy. I was stuck on that part for like 10 attempts, actually. But yeah, this was me yesterday just playing as normal. And if you actually try to shoot at these guys, they don't like that. They shoot back at you and you end up taking a ton of damage. So I guess just don't shoot at them. This video is just kind of for fun. My main focus right now is getting out my Rimworld movie, I guess. It's going to be like two hours long. However, the Cyberpunk video was really easy to make. And if you would like to see this melee only challenge continue, then drop a like on the video. With that, I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.